Hey, welcome back, guys. My name again is Steve Potkiller, or Steve Potts, as some of you might know me, because that's just easier to say. This is the third and final video in a three-part series on hand animations uh, to use in whiteboard videos. Um, now, I would say that this video took a lot longer to actually get done, uh, or even to get started. I've actually started it so many times and then just scrapped what I did and then restarted it. But actually, to get here and sit down in front of this uh, monitor and sit down here in front of the camera and actually get this done took me a little longer than I would have liked. And the simple reason for that is that, number one, it was the holidays, right? We celebrate Christmas. Um, and also New Year's. And, you know, I have three kids aged 11 to 16 in the house right now with us. Our oldest daughter, you know, she's married with children of her own already. But, you know, the three kids in the house, you know, they just were on winter break. Being in middle school and high school, they do a lot of hard work at school and they need their break. They need somebody to spend some time with them and just distract them from their worries of schoolwork and things like that. So that's what I did. I spent some time with the kids just relaxing, kicking back, playing games, doing all cool kinds of cool things. I had some projects and whatnot. So I do apologize for how long it's taken to actually get this video done. But I will honestly tell you I don't feel sorry because I do love spending time with the kids. So yeah, there's that. Now anyway... This is 2016, right? I do hope that you had a wonderful holiday season. I do hope that you have a very prosperous 2016. I can only hope that everybody out there, whatever your goals might be, whether it be marketing, education, whatever, whatever you're using your videos for, that you guys are going to have a wonderful year and meet your goals. Now, without further ado, Without uh, too much waffling over here and without making this video any longer than we really need to. Let's get started with the actual work, okay? Right, now, so there are two ways I could have gone with this. Um, I could have started with a blank slate and then step by step by step by step import everything as I go. Or what I could have done is, um, do what I ended up doing, is put it all in place play the animation for you, show you what I came up with, with the material I have here, right? And then assume or hope that you actually watched video one and two, that you have this material, that you watched video two, and I showed you how to basically move the animations, move the, the uh, covers that we're using, right? All of this kind of stuff. And then in this video, basically, I just want to show you how I put it all together and then give you some finer points and then show you how I transfer from a drawing hand to a writing hand. Because you see the difference between the two is the drawing hand does one of these, right? And the writing hand, well, it just moves up and down. So it's, you know, it looks more like writing. And so at some point what you want to do in this animation, you'll actually see that in action is the hand will do a drawing and then it transfers from that to a hand that goes up and down. Okay. So, you know, Without me going on about it, let me just show you what I have here at the moment. You'll see my call to action is up the top here. And um, then basically we're going to have the animation play. Hand comes up, makes a drawing, facebookmypage.com, and disappears. And all of this in under, I believe, uh, from there to there, about three and a half seconds. Okay. So three and a half seconds to actually come up with the animation, boom. And then how long you want this to stay on here depends, of course, on you. Because you might actually have more text. You might actually have more images. What I'm going to show you is how to get the hand to make the drawing and then transfer it to make the text, okay? So now before we start here, there's something important. I guess I haven't really mentioned and people have asked me about it personally. They're like... Well, how do you time your animations so that they all line up? And the simple answer to that is I use the clock function right over here. See this? All right, it starts off with all zeros at the very beginning. And as the playhead moves, you'll see that the clock timer runs. But now people get a little confused when they use this clock because it doesn't seem normal. Like, for instance, um, let me do this. Um... It says 0 
So you might be mistaken to think that that's 0.28 or 28 seconds, right? And then you come up to 29 and then all of a sudden it jumps to one second. So you're a little confused here to understanding, well, how does it go from 30 or 0 0.30 to one second? And the simple explanation for that is that Camtasia runs at 30 frames per second. So every time you click step forward or step back, you're moving one frame forward or one frame back. Now, 30 frames a second means that the software actually takes 30 screenshots in one second, lines them all up sequentially, and then views them or shows them one after the other. And the result of that is a video. Now, you remember, of course, old timey movies that all have those little snapshot little photo things right and you shine a light through it reflect it on your on your wall get all those photos one after the other snap 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 as they go through on the reel right they go through the little um the little light section that illuminates that slide right and you get that flick 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 sound right and the light flickers at such a rate that the photos become a movie well that's exactly what's happening here Okay, so you have 30 photos for each second. So how I time my things is always by this clock here. And I have an understanding that there is 30 frames in each second. So 15 frames would be a half second. Okay. Now where that applies to is in the very front here. Where you'll see if I step up. Remember how I extended the frame of the hand, right? So that it stands still. The very first frame of the hand stands still and it moves up. I'm animating it up, right? Right up until the part where it says 15. That's a half second because that's the timing I wanted to use so that a half second of travel time for the hand to move up. Now you'll see as I move through the animation over here, clickety click, 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 see 30 and then one second, the image is done. So in the very first second of the actual Animation here, you have the hand come up and then draw the image, okay? And now, at one second here, what I did, and you can see it, okay? Watch if I move one frame forward. See how the hand turns like this? This is actually where I changed. I overlapped from a hand on green screen drawing and then put the hand on green screen writing right over the top so that I could get them right. Okay, and then what I did is I made it, and you can see it over here. If we zoom in, all right, we made the transition. Here it says hand on green screen drawing, and here it says hand on green screen writing. So there's a transition right over here as I move through. Okay, and here again we have an extended frame of exactly 50 frames well the length of 15 frames in the actual playtime over here so if this is one second right up to there if you run it to where the next animation ends because see there's that animation over there see where that animation ends over there is at 1 and 15 so 1 second and 15 so another half second of transition from now making an image Right, and then here we go. Now you see the hands moving up and down, making more of a wavy pattern. And it's actually doing the writing action over here. And this this honestly could be fine-tuned a little bit by moving the hand a little bit closer to where the text is. But for argument's sake and for, you know, um, tutorial purposes, uh, this will do, okay? So then we come to this very sequence over here. Now you'll see it says three seconds. Right, so what I do is I freeze the frame or extend the frame again, and you can see that in action right over here. Right, right there, we've extended the frame again, and now for a half a second or 15 frames, the hand travels off the page again. So you see at 15, the animation ends right there. So that's basically how I work my timing. Um, know when your animation starts, know when your animation ends, um, use the same timing so that in that way, when you're 
timing things to work together that you use your clock here okay because the clock here is going to allow everything to work together properly okay so this is you know a, a complex little thing um, if you had to look at it all together um, you'd see there are quite a few frames over here let's just uh, shrink this down a little bit right quite a few frames over here quite a few um, at least tracks right uh, quite a few things going on over here but um, you don't necessarily need to do this for every single one of your videos okay so what you can do here is basically drag and drop like this highlight all of the uh, actual material here right and then uh, basically say add assets to library okay what I'm gonna do over here is I'm just gonna call this a uh, Facebook call out okay uh, let's just give it a number call out one okay so in the event that let's say this isn't here uh, oh. <laughs> almost deleted it from the library Facebook call out one and now of course we're making all kinds of boo-boos okay click outside of it or just click something else okay now let's say in the event that um, you do a video and you want to add that entire sequence back in again while well, you have it in your library over here so all you do now is you drag it and drop it in the end right there straight from your library and there it is again for you right so you don't have to do it every time simply just save it to your library okay so that for each of your videos that you want to use this particular call out you just drag it and drop it down okay that saves you a phenomenal amount of time uh, to do your um, your intros and your outros like this okay okay now um, as with before if you have any questions you don't understand anything man please ask uh, I know um, that it would seem very complicated but if you watch video one and video two you should know where I got these uh, things from how I got them and how I'm using them okay and then um, also understand like how I extend a frame so that some a video clip that is actually running I extend that first frame so that it seems like it's frozen um, all of that any questions man please ask okay now I will at this point tell you that I'm going to be working on the next uh, video sequence here and the next one I want to do here is business letters now this is the type of um, video where you see just text on the screen and somebody talking basically um, they're talking and the text coincides exactly with what they're saying okay so for instance this case would be follow me on facebook.com slash my page and then the text would be there so people are reading and listening at the same time this is um, a video format that's very common on sellers on um, I think Clickbank and also on JVZoo okay they use this video format quite a lot and um, I can only believe that a lot of people use that format for making uh, marketing videos because it is effective okay so what we will do is we'll be looking at that right from scratch I mean right from the very beginning concept uh, script writing um, and then of course how to do the actual voice recording and how to match that voice recording with slides and all that beautiful stuff man okay but now guys um, this uh, concludes these three videos I showed you guys basically how to do this I'm giving you a bit of a breakdown here as to how to um, put this little sequence together okay so what I want you to go do is try that and if you have any problems man get back to me and I will make uh, additional videos to explain the parts that you guys have problems with but until the next video guys Steve out